So we're going to do uh, your warm up first, and uh, I'm going to give you three minutes to do your warm up on the timer. Don't start yet. Oh, some people are moving. Don't start moving yet. When you are finished completing the warm up, I want you to stand up to show me that you're ready to move on. At the end of the warm up time, I'm going to be randomly choosing three of you, and I mean randomly. It's not going to be at all in my control. Don't start moving yet, please. Thank you. I'm going to randomly choose three of you. You're going to read your answer to us. Miss Clower, because she knows the subject matter better than I do, is going to choose the best answer out of those three, and you're going to get 10, points, 10 bonus points. <laughs> time for the warm-up. You're going to have three minutes as soon as I start the timer. Stand up as soon as you have an answer written down. One, two, three, go. See if you can do this completely in your head without using your mouth. You can be using your mouth a lot today, but not right now. Two minutes and 15 seconds. <coughs> as soon as you have an answer, stand up to show me that you're ready to move on, please. You have less than a minute and a half. Many students standing and you're standing quietly. Thanks for doing that. Give the other people respect. Have the quiet time to work on that. By the way, as you stand up, if you could do me a favor and flip your paper over so that your neighbor's not tempted to look at that while they're working. Thank you. It's Gabby, right? Gabby, can you give Leo a, a bonus? Uh, he's been waiting a long time and he hasn't been talking. Appreciate that, Leo. Seventeen seconds. Three, two, one. Time's up. All right, everybody stand up whether you have an answer or not. Everybody's standing, almost everybody's up, thank you. Everybody's up, thanks. All right, your next set of directions. Listen to this, see if you can follow this quickly and uh, efficiently for me. You are gonna read your answer to each other to your partners that you're sitting or standing right now next to. Not yet, wait till I say go. And I would like, after the person that reads their answer, after they read it to that person, I want their partner to, to give them a score based on a scale of one to five. Five being the best. If it's the best possible sentence, you're like blown away by their sentence, then give them a five. If, you, if they didn't get a sentence, that would be a one. If they even have a sentence that uses these words at all in it, give them at least a two. Three would be mediocre. Four would be, hey, that's a really good sentence, but it's not quite the best sentence you could possibly do. And then I want you to tell them, after you give them a score, why you gave them that score. This is where the critical thinking comes in in the class. Why did you give them a score of four? 
Why did you give him a two? What could improve it to bring it up? If you gave him a four, how could they bring it up to a five in your opinion? If you gave him a five, tell him what's so wonderful about it. After both of you have read your sentences and given each other a score on a scale of one to five, you can sit down. When you're sitting down, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about to your partner. As long as you don't talk to anybody that's standing up that's still involved in this activity, you're going to be okay. If you break one of these rules that I've just given to you right now, you're going to get a minus 10 points on your score sheet for participation points. So remember, you're standing, each one of you is sharing, you're scoring on a scale of 1 to 5, and then you are telling them why you gave them that score, and then you're sitting down. I'm going to be monitoring you guys, I'm going to be watching for people that are doing it correctly, because kids that's just take 10 seconds, obviously didn't follow directions if, they're, if you're sitting down in 10 seconds from now. This should take you probably a good one to two minutes to do it correctly and to do a good job. Anybody have any questions before we start? Okay, so sharing, scoring, and giving feedback on why they got that score. You need a partner, don't you? Does anybody else not have a partner? Everybody's, we have an odd number of people here today. Okay, I'm going to have you turn around and you're going to share with them right here. Okay, and this time you're not going to share your sentence. Just these two guys are going to share their sentence. Unless you guys get done early, then I might have you end up sharing it. Okay, so you, you're going to share it, but both of you are going to score it when he shares his. When you share yours, both of you are going to score his. Okay? Aww. On your mark. Get set and go. Stay standing. <laughs> Okay, what it is? Watch my eyes. To both, oh, you, you're on your turn? Okay. No, no, one to five, one to five. Okay, I'll give you a one. Okay, time's up, have a seat. And give me your attention back up here. Show me the score that you received from your neighbor on your fingers real quickly right now. Okay, show me on your thumb whether you agree, disagree, or kind of agree with what your neighbor gave to you. Yeah, I, would, I deserve that one. No, I think that they were wrong. Or, eh, I could maybe go with that score. Okay, so most of you are agreeing with your neighbor. That's interesting. And nobody is going to lose points on that because everybody followed directions that I could tell. I'm sure some of you didn't, but uh, nobody got caught, so uh, you guys all get the points for that. All right, what we're going to do today, by the way, so I've got a scoreboard. I know that Ms. Clower uses a scoreboard, and I'm going to use my own today, very similar to what she's been doing. This is EC and DC. EC stands for extra credit. What does that stand for, everybody? Extra credit. Okay, DC stands for dextra credit. What does that stand for? Dextra credit. Which one sounds better? Extra credit. That's right. How many of you like homework? Raise your hand. Okay, there's the crazy people in the class. Yeah, the crazy people that like homework. How many of you hate homework? All right. Well, I hated homework when I was in school also. I'm down. And what we're going to do today is give you the opportunity to earn less homework. How many of you like the idea, the, uh, the sound of earning less homework? Wait a minute, you raised your hand that you like homework and now you want less homework. Okay, so most of you are agreeing that you want less homework. Here's how it's going to work. Like right now, there's so many kids talking that I don't know who to take points away from. And so if I was starting this yet already, I would give you one, the class, one extra credit. You are going to end up with... Uh, right now, I'm going to take away three homework problems. Three homework problems are gone off your homework. I believe, how many? 20? Mm -hmm. There's 20 homework problems. Three of them are gone right now. So we're going to start at 17 homework problems, basically, that you have to do tonight for homework on the review worksheet. If you, for every extra credit, we're going to take one of those away. So if you get 17 extra credits, which you won't be able to get in the next you know, 45 minutes that we have class, you have no homework. 
If you have extra credit points, we're going to add problems onto that that you have to do. So you actually end up with more homework. And the way that you earn these is by the whole class, everybody in the class participating. When I ask you guys to do something, if everybody's participating in it, and if everybody's enthusiastic, they're having a good time, they're like, hey, we can make a little noise in here. I'm going to ask you guys to talk a lot today during this review. I'm going to do very little talking. I have to do a lot at the beginning to give you guys directions, but you guys are going to do most of the talking. And so if everybody's totally participating, enthusiastic, following directions, and I notice it, I'm going to give you guys an extra credit point, which means you just got rid of one homework problem. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. If, if I have not that going on, if I have people that are, you know, goofing around or off task and stuff like that, then I'm going to give you a dexter credit. And we're going to do at the end of the period is we're going to take these two numbers, we're going to balance them out, you know, positives and negatives. If we have, say, six extra credit and two dexter credit, we'll knock four problems off your homework. How many of you understand? Raise your hand. Okay, everybody say, I got it. I got it. I like it. I like it. Okay, here we go. Okay, now you guys all participated in that. I'm going to give you an extra credit. Now when I give you an extra credit, hold it, hold it, don't do it yet. When I give you an extra credit, as soon as this comes down, I'm going to turn on you guys. I want everybody to clap their hands. How many of you know how to clap your hands? Anybody know how to clap their hands? Okay. You're going to clap your hands. You're going to throw your hands like this and you're going to say, oh yeah, like that. So we're going to practice that. Ready? Because you're excited. You just got rid of a homework problem. Ready? Hold it. Not yet. Get your hands ready. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. You guys just gave a really good oh yeah, so we're going to get another extra credit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh wait, we had a bunch of people over here not participating. I'm sorry. They just earned us a dextra credit because oh. some kids thought because I wasn't looking over that way that they didn't have to participate. And now, when I give you a dextra credit, I want you guys to lower your heads. I want a little weepy eye rub and I want you to give me oh, a depressing sound like that. Ready? Oh, okay, thank you. So we have right now one extra credit. That's one more than the three problems gone. That means we have four problems gone in your homework. Okay, moving on. And by the way, if I catch an individual person doing something that they're not supposed to be doing, then they're going to be losing uh, class, particip class participation points, and Gabby's keeping track of that. And if I catch somebody that's doing a really nice job, it's not going to be everybody necessarily, like I gave Leo 10 points, I'm going to give some of you guys extra points, and that's what we're going to work on right now for your warm-up. So here we go. Three kids, and Miss Clower is going to be our judge. Who's number 31? Who's 31? You are. Okay, stand up, please. When I call your number, just stand up for me. Who's number six? Who's number six? Speak up. Okay, Gabby, who's number six? Alyssa, stand up. Who's number 29? Who's 29? Amber. Amber, stand up. Where's Alyssa? Okay. Everybody pay attention and listen to these kids read their three sentences, starting in the order that I called you in. Go ahead. You got to say it so we can hear it all the way over here. Say it real loud. Oh, by the way, before you get started, if, if I give somebody extra points and they stand up and do a silent dance for the class because they're so excited they get extra credit, I'm going to give an extra credit point to the whole class for you doing that. So, for example, who's, who's crazy in here that would do something like that for me? Abel. Okay, so what's your name? What is it? I still can't hear you. Paola. Okay. Paola. Is that how you say it? Paola? Yeah. Okay. I'm, we're going to pretend right now like I just gave Paola an extra point, extra credit point for uh, class participation. And we're going to call that, I, I don't want to say extra credit point for class participation every single time. I'm going to call that a uh, yipper. I'm going to give you a yipper. Okay? okay. And then if it's like a bad point, I'm going to call it a bummer. So uh, if I give you a yipper and you stand up and dance, the class is going to get one, everybody what? Extra point. Extra yipper. Thank you. Give this guy a yipper right here. He shouted it out. Okay, beautiful. And the class is going to get it because he danced and because he's excited. The class is going to get one extra credit point. Everybody? Oh yeah, everybody participated in that. Thank you. We didn't have to lose that extra credit point. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program starting over here. Everybody look at that person. Give them proper respect as they share their answer. Go ahead. Thank you. Right here. Oh no, you were second. No, you were second. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Like they had traders inside the city, they had 
and they created taxes and they were very wealthy. Okay, thank you. You and your neighbor, you can have a seat. You and your neighbor decide right now which one of those sentences you would pick if you were choosing which one was the best. Go ahead, talk to your neighbor. Okay, I'm going to move you. Somebody left, so you take your stuff and you're going to go sit right back there. In fact, why don't you come on up here? Bring your young lady, bring your st stuff up here and you're going to be his partner, okay? She's gone, right? She gone for the day? Okay. Now we have an even number of people. All right, let's vote right now. Let's see what the uh, the People's Choice Award is for this. What's your name? Brianna. Brianna? Raise your hand if you thought Brianna's was the best. I did. Wow, that's a pretty big... Uh, and what's your name? Alyssa. Alyssa, raise your hand if you thought Alyssa's was the best. And your name is? Amber. Raise your hand if you thought Amber's was the best. Okay, a couple of people. And this is the one that really matters. Miss Clower, who did, who's, uh, are you going to choose for the, ten, the, the yipper? Who's going to get the yipper here? Okay, Bree. Give Bree one yipper. And by the way, when, I, when somebody gives you something in life, what do you say to them? Thank you. Okay, so from now on, if I give you a yipper and you don't say thank you, your yipper's gone. Okay, so let's come back to what you, Abel, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm learning your name already. Abel, I just gave you a yipper, right? I gave you a yipper. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I said thank you. You're welcome. So those people have their yipper. Oh, and we have fish on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, Brianna didn't, didn't do the dance, so the class didn't get an extra credit point, but that's okay. We're up three to one right now. Okay. Oh, we got a bunch of kids shouting out. And so we just got, oh, let me back up on that. We just got a Dexter credit because I didn't call on you guys. You need to raise your hand or have permission to be talking. And everybody? Oh, okay. So real quickly, so you know how to get extra credit and Dexter credit, what are the rules going to be in the class? If you want to talk... You need to raise your hand and get permission to talk. I don't, I don't want anybody shouting things out because it's going to interrupt the flow of the lesson. And we got a very short period of time. Okay, so if you have something to say, like Abel's raising his hand right now, I'm ignoring him because I don't want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> but you can raise your hand and hope that I call on you, then you'll have permission to talk. I am going to be having you guys talk a lot. The second thing is, is as I ask you to talk, you need to stay on topic. What do you need to do? Stay on? Topic. What do you need to do? Topic. topic. Thank you. Say, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, and if you stay on topic and you don't talk unless you're called on, then you're going to be safe and you don't have to worry about getting a bummer. Is that what I called them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the first one, the good one's called a? Yipper. And the bad one's called a? Bummer. See, everybody's talking right now because I gave you permission to talk and it's pretty obvious. Okay, and the third thing is to stay on task. In other words, if I ask you to write something or whatever, that you do that. Next phase, we're done with the warm-up. Everybody put that piece of paper away, and I want you to take a blank piece of lined paper out. I want you to put your name on the top, and I want you to stand up when you're ready. Show me that you're ready to move on. Don't stand up until you have a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and your name on the top. Go. Quickly. Blank piece of paper. Don't stand up until your name's on the paper. Blank piece of paper, name on the top of the paper. You got your name on there? Yes, I did. Beautiful. Uh, what's your name? Isaiah. Okay, give Isaiah a yipper. Uh, that, was, that was kind of a mediocre dance. Now, when you dance, i got to see something, you know, original, excited, and stuff like that to really give the class an extra credit point. But uh, Isaiah forgot to say thank you, so he didn't get that yipper. Too late. Once I tell you, then it's over. I'll give you about three, three seconds to say thank you. Here we go. If you don't have your name, uh, paper with a name on it yet, you're really slow and we're not going to wait for you. Have a seat. And I would like, uh, what's your name? I'm sorry? Got to yell here. I'm an old deaf guy. Simon. Simon. Perfect. Simon, can you go to the back and, oh wait, I'm going to time you guys on this and get a chance for an extra credit point. We got a couple of materials that need to be passed out for this lesson. We got folders right here in the middle, and we have crayons right there in, uh, next to the folder. Everybody needs one crayon, everybody needs one folder. Actually, there are two that are glued together. And I'm going to give you guys uh, three minutes to get these out. Here's how it's going to work. If you can do it in one minute, I'm going to give you an extra credit point. If it's after one minute, but before two minutes, we're not going to get anything. If it's after two minutes, actually, I'll set it for two minutes. If it's after two minutes, if it takes the class longer than two minutes, we're going to lose. We're going to get a Dexter credit point. So we can do it under a minute. If everybody has a crayon and a folder within one minute, they will get an extra credit point. So you're going to pass them out, and you're going to pass them out. What's your name? Carolina. Carolina. And 
pay Paola. Paola is going to pass them out, and the girl with the long name is going to pass them out. Okay. Uh, so those four people are going to worry about everybody. I got two people on each side. So how you do it is up to you guys. I'm going to let you get yourself organized, but you can't get out of your seat until I say go. You have two minutes to do this, and everybody else should be waiting quietly. Otherwise, we will not get our extra credit. It means you'll have more homework. On your mark, get set, and are you ready? Just grab enough to get them, you know, you grab enough to get them to these guys, grab the folders, help each other's out. On your mark, get set, and go. Good job, good job. Doing quiet. Help each other now. So this is a class against the timer. 52. You might want to pass them to each other. There is nothing in the rules that says that other kids can't help you guys out if you pass them to some other kids. No, just give it. Just, it's fine. 23 seconds. Come on, guys. Okay, hold up your crayon in the air. I want to see it, like, so I can see it. I don't see every crayon up. Okay, hold up your... We have 10. Hold up your folder. Okay, you can put those down. Thank you. And we did it within, in a minute, and so you guys get an extra petty point. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and... Remember, it's oh yeah, and you got to say it like you're cool. You can't just go oh yeah. You got to do oh yeah like that, like you're on the football team. Okay, here we go. You have crayons. Put the crayons up at the top where that little pencil holder is. Thing right there. Say I've got the pencil. I mean, excuse me, crayon. Say I got the crayon in the holder. Go. I got the crayon in the holder. Thank you. Okay, now take your pencil or your pen, and you're going to be writing with that on your paper. When I say Crayon, I want everybody to yell out crayon. Let's just try that so you get the idea. Crayon. Crayon. Okay, when I say crayon, you're going to say crayon, and your pen or your pencil is going to go on the floor, actual, on the actual carpeting. If you don't follow that direction, you're going to get a bummer. It's a real simple direction to follow. So you don't have to do that right now, but every time I yell crayon, you're going to put that pen or, pen, pen or pencil on the floor, you're going to pick up your crayon, and you have to only use crayon to write. And then when I want you to switch back, I'm going to say, well, normally I say pencil because kids in my class are using pencils. I'm just, if you have a pen, you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm going to say pencil. You're all going to yell what? Pencil. pencil. At that point in time, you're allowed to pick your pencil up and write with it, and the crayon can go back in the little holder at the top of your desk. Let's just practice that to make sure you got it. Here we go. Crayon! Crayon. crayon. Oh, that was pathetic. <sighs> Bummer. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Pencil. Pencil. pencil! Good. And now you're picking up your pencil. You hold it. You got your pencil in your hand. We'll try it one more time. Maybe we can get an extra credit on this one. So you're writing. You're doing an assignment for me right now. Pretend everybody's writing. And I say, okay, I don't want you to use your pencil anymore. I want you to use your crayon. So I'm going to say, crayon! Crayon! Boom. You grab your crayon. Your pencil's on the floor. Okay, look at your neighbor and see if they follow directions with their pencil on the floor. Okay, everybody hold your crayon up in the air. Pencil. 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 Now we're getting it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hold it, hold it, hold it, and... Oh, yeah! <sighs> that was close. I almost took that extra credit away because we don't have exactly everyone participating. Okay. All right, next up, we're going to do our first question. On your paper, I would like you to write review... Just write review at the top so that you and I and Miss Clower remembers what this piece of paper is when we collect it. Write review. I would like you to write number one on the left side like you're taking a spelling test back in the old days. How many people remember taking spelling tests in elementary school? Raise your hand. Oh uh, yeah, okay, that's what it's like. You're just going to number your paper, put a number one on the side, and here's a question. I want you to write your answer. Oh, wait, everybody take your folders now. I want you to set it up around your paper so you have some privacy because I want to know what you know, not what your neighbor knows. Put that around your paper. Hide your paper. Okay, there we go. Now go ahead and write the answer to number one and stand up as soon as you're in the answer to number one. Just the answer. Write the answer to number one and stand up. Write the answer. Just the answer. 
One word, two word, three words, whatever you think it requires. Just a simple answer. Okay, now those, for those of you that are stuck, write some answer. Fake it. Put some answer on your paper because no answer is for sure going to be wrong. So put some sort of an answer on your paper. Guess. Thank you for standing quietly and waiting. You guys are totally following directions right now. I'm loving what I'm seeing. We are going to get another extra credit point. Everybody? Okay, that was much better. I'm going to let you keep that one. And what I'd like you to do in the next few seconds is with your neighbor that you're sitting next to, you are going, oh, uh, let's see. Crayon! Crayon! Good. Crayon. Stay standing up. Stay standing up. Everybody show me your crayon right now. Look on the floor. Point to your pencil. We're going to call them pencils even though they might be pens. Good, thank you. You put your crayons down. Boy, you guys are doing a nice job. And you are going to do something right now that I call reaching consensus. Say reaching consensus. Reaching consensus. Thank you. Staying standing up. And reaching consensus is where you have to agree with someone on something. And you have to say whatever it takes to change their mind. If you want to change somebody's mind, oh, I got, look at, thank you for looking over this way. Appreciate it. If you want to change somebody's mind on something, saying something faster and louder probably won't help. help. Right? Yeah. If, if he thinks the answer is Timbuktu and I think the answer is salt, and I say salt, and he says Timbuktu, salt, Timbuktu. Oh yeah, that's really going to work, right? But if I somehow can reason with him and give him the reasons that I came up with the answer, then I can change his mind. At this phase right now, you are allowed to use your textbook to prove to each other, not yet, stay standing up, let me finish the directions. You're allowed to use your textbook to prove that you are right and the other person's wrong. You can show it to them. Use the index in the back to find where it is. Or the glossary if you need the glossary or something like that. Anything in the textbook you want. You cannot use other people. You can only use your own brain, your own mouth, and a textbook to change your partner's mind. Here's what I need to see done before you sit down. Are you ready? Yeah. Before, I got almost serious attention. Before you sit down, your two pager, papers must match. But you're only allowed to write with crayon right now. So let's say that, what's your name? Justin. Justin. Let's say Justin changes his mind because Yasmin, Yasmin changed Justin's mind. Justin's like, oh, that's right. I just, you, you changed my mind. I remember that now. He's going to take his crayon. He's going to cross out his answer. And he's going to write the same answer that Yasmin has. Now their answers match and they sit down. Once you're sitting down, you can talk about anything that you want. Thank you. When you're standing up, are you allowed to talk about anything you want? No. When you're standing up, you must talk about the answer to this question. question. Got it? Yes. yes. You must agree. Don't sit down until you agree. And somebody has to change their answer so they match. Now, let's say they match right now in pencil. Well, great. You look at each other's paper, you sit down. It takes two seconds. That's all you have to do. On your mark. Any questions? No. First time doing this. By the way, again, I'm not going to give you all these directions. The next question, I'm just going to say, do it. And you'll know what to do. Ready? Go. Talk to the person. You guys' papers match? No. Then why are you sitting down? You guys all match papers, right, with your neighbor? You guys match with each other? No. Then stand up. You're not allowed to sit down until they match. Do you guys match with each other? You guys match? You guys match? Stand up until they match. Do you guys match? You guys match each other? Okay. You guys match, you guys match each other? Okay. You guys match each other, right? You guys agree with each other? You reach consensus? Did I give a pen? No. Nope. Nope. You can use your crayon to fix anything you want to, but not your pen. You guys match? You guys match? I don't know. You'll have to find it. You guys match? Okay. You guys agree? Your papers match, right? Okay. Okay, I'd like to... Uh, what's, what's your name? Dylan and, uh, help me out, Daenera? Okay, can you two guys, are you guys brave enough to come up here and like talk in front of the class? Is that okay? I don't want to put you on the spot. Okay, come up here, bring your book, 
And what we're going to do is do kind of like what's called a fishbowl. We're going to listen in to what they're talking about. And I don't want you to give any clues by any vocal sounds, by any facial expressions. How many of you know what it means to have a poker face? Raise your hand if you know what that means. Okay, uh, what does that mean? Explain it to the class. Show us a poker face. Okay, anybody else want to help out here? What is a poker face? What's a poker face? Okay, see him? Stand up and show that to them, Abel. Okay, this is a poker face, kind of. Poker face means you show no emotion on your face. So you guys right here have to listen to theirs, and if you hear him say something you really like, you can't be going like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. You know, and it, when she gives some answer, you don't like, what? You know, you can't do that. You've got to pretend like you have no clue what they're talking about, but listen in to who you think is correct right now. Have your conversation with each other. Debate with each other. I want to know, you know, figure out who's right and try to change each other's minds so the class can hear it. Go. I think that number one is Savannah because it has open grassland and it's in Africa and there's a bunch of trees, many different trees. That's in Africa but not West Africa. Okay. Good job on the poker faces. Notice I'm not giving it away either, see? What do you think it is? Sahara. So you think it's what? Sudan. And you think it's? Sahara. Well, why do you think it's Sahara? I guess. So that we save time, can you make a suggestion to her as to a faster way for her to find this rather than just flipping through pages? Go to the oh, she found it. It's right. You change your mind? Yeah. Oh, then you tell him you changed my mind. I, you changed my mind. Okay. Yeah. And tell me your name again. I forgot already. Dylan. Dylan, okay. How many of you agree with Dylan? How many of you disagree with Dylan? You disagree? What do you think it is? How many people think rainforest might be the right answer? Okay, explain why you think it's rainforest. Because it, it's a grassland and it has trees. Do you, do you have any proof for it? Do you want to show it to us in the book or anything like that? So did they change your mind? Are you changing your mind on this or are you going to stick with it? Yeah? Okay. Let's give these guys a hand. Thank you for doing that. Good job. Yeah. Okay, and because... They came up and were willing to do that in front of the class. Both of these guys are going to get a yipper. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I guess we can give it because one of them did a dance there, and that was a definitely novel. So, one more extra credit point. Hold it, ready? Oh, yeah. yeah! Beautiful. Next question. Oh, by the way, the answer here it is. The answer is Savannah. Okay, put a star next to that if you got that right in pen or a pencil with your crayon, with your crayon. Nobody's picked up their pencil yet. If you did, then, and I catch you, then you're going to be getting a bummer. All right. And pencil. Pencil. Okay, hold your pencil up in the air, your pen. Thank you. And now write number two on your paper and answer this question. Stand up. We're going to use the same format. So just stand up as soon as you have the answer, or you have your best guess. No books on this, only out of your brain. This is a review for the test. Simon's ready. Red striped shirt man's ready. <laughs> Yellow shirt's ready. <laughs> Dylan's ready, is that right, Dylan? Uh, it's going to take me like five years to learn your name. <laughs> Tell me your name again. Dana. What is it? Dayanara. 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 Okay, you have about 15 seconds to write an answer, so if you don't have an answer, just start, just pick one and write it down. Guess. 
Keep your answer shielded inside your folder. We're not talking about anything right now. Okay, if you don't have an answer, just write something on your paper. And you guys, again, are doing a great job following directions, standing and waiting quietly. So we're going to get another extra credit point. Everybody? Oh, yeah! Beautiful. You get to keep it. Turn to your neighbor. You're going to reach consensus. You're going to sit down with your paper. Oh, wait. Crayons! Crayons! Pencils are on the floor, right? Stay standing. Reach consensus. Have a seat when you agree with each other. Do not sit down until you agree. Go. Sorry, I got confused. Is this a pencil? Yeah. I got confused. Oh. I'll let you off this time. You have a crayon in your hand, right? I don't know what I I'll let you off this time. This goes on the floor. Is that yours too? No, oh. that's You guys agree with each other? Okay. Okay, you're only allowed to talk to her about it. You guys agree with each other, right? Okay. Remember, your crayons are out only. Pencils are on the floor. Oops. On the floor. That's not the floor. Class? Yes. Oh, that was pathetic. Sorry. We'll do much better next time, won't we? Everybody? Aww. Aww. Class? Yes. Class any class? Yes. Much better. Freeze right where you are. Every time I say class, you freeze. You don't do anything. I would like all the people that are sitting to... You can't say a thing right now. But I want you to listen in on a conversation that's going on close to you. Just like I brought Dylan and Danera. Did I get it right this finally? Dylan and Danera came up here and you guys just listened in. I want you to do the same thing with people around you. If, listen, if you need to move in order to hear a conversation, as long as you're moving in order to hear a conversation, I'll let you get away with that right now. If you're moving to go hang out by your friends, that's not going to happen. You'll end up getting a bummer. But if, if you have to move in order to listen to a conversation, do that. And keep listening until I call time and we have pretty much most everybody sitting down. So do not give them any input. If I'm listening to these two people and I know for sure this guy's right, I've already looked it up in the book and I know he's right, and, and, he's, and she's arguing something, oh no, it's this, it's this, it's this. You don't let on that he's right. Just let them argue it out and you eavesdrop on him right now. Who's confused? Okay, eavesdrop, go back to work, go. You're listening to them. You guys are still reaching consensus? You agree with each other, right? Okay, just listen in on them. Can you guys hear them? Get up here where you can hear them then. Who are you guys listening to? You can hear them? Can you hear them? Oh, well, you might want to move so you can get up there and hear them. You're not allowed to talk to them, just each other here. Okay? You guys agreeing with each other? Yes. Then have a seat and listen to somebody else. Who are you guys listening to? These guys? Good. You're eavesdropping. Okay. Who are you listening to? That doesn't look, that's not listening. You need to go listen in on another conversation. Good. Listen in on another conversation. Okay. Have a seat. Oh, I'm sorry, but we had a several kids. I asked you who was confused, and there are several kids that are not following directions right now. What if you're sitting down? Are you just sitting there doing nothing? No. 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 What did I tell you to do? Eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. And I had kids all over the room. Somebody shouting out. Abel, hey, well, you got a bummer. Sorry. And uh, I, I want every kid that's not talking to be listening. Every single kid. If after I'm about to have you start this up again, if you don't follow that direction, you're going to get a bummer. If you're just sitting there daydreaming, you're going to get a bummer. This is learning time. I want you to go eavesdrop on somebody else in the room that's having a conversation standing up. If you need to stand up to get over closer to them so you can hear them, great, do it. But don't just sit there doing nothing. So we just got an extra credit. Everybody? Oh, okay. So, anybody confused this time so you don't get a bummer? 
All right, stand up if you're still trying to reach consensus right now for me. If you don't agree with your neighbor, stand up. There were several of you standing. Go ahead and stand back up. You're not in trouble. If you don't agree with your neighbor, stand up. Wait, don't do anything yet. Just stand up. Just stand up. You guys don't agree with each other, right? Then sit down. You guys don't agree with each other. You don't agree with each other. Here, you guys don't agree. Wait, don't start yet. You guys don't agree with each other, right? Okay, so we got four groups. One, two, one in each row. Find one that you can listen into and don't talk to them, just listen to them. You guys agree with each other? You guys do too? Because you were standing up before. Okay, anybody confused? Ready? Go. Go listen to them. Good, good. This is awesome right here. Great, keep going. Uh, you're not allowed to talk. You just got a bummer. You got to just listen. Good. These guys broke apart and they're listening to other conversations. Uh, you just got a bummer. What's your name? No talking. Only the people that are reaching consensus are talking. Anybody that I can I've already given two bummers for kids that are talking. They're not a part of the reaching consensus process. You guys agree? Okay, have a seat. Everybody go back to your seats. What's the answer, everybody? No. I can't hear you. What is it? No. What is it? No. Okay, by the way, much better job following directions on that. I saw kids I saw kids hustling over to groups to listen in on the conversations. We did we did have a couple of kids that got a bummer, but I'm not going to penalize the class for that. Those kids already got their penalty. And so we do get one more. Everybody get ready. Extra credit. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we are going to run out of time.